okay, so we're going to take a look at, and so what I've done is I've just made a random graph here. All right. Um, what type of graph is it? Piecewise, because it's in pieces. Somebody said piecewise. Okay, so it's a piecewise function. The name of the function is f of x. I've obviously, because I sketched this, gave you some points just to make it a little bit easier. All right, now yesterday, hopefully you got the idea that the limit coming from the left and the limit coming from the right must be the same number for the overall limit to exist. All right, so the notation that you hopefully saw yesterday, um, we'll just actually do this around two. Like let's say the limit as x approaches two from the left of f of x. All right, so this, I never can write small enough, but x approaches two from the left is tiny. It's underneath the word limit. All right, the word limit and the f of x is on the same like level. You take the limit of something. So if you write this limit notation, you have to have something that follows it. All right, now, since I don't know, like I don't know what the function is for this, so I can't write the function there. If I was doing the limit of a parabola, then I would literally write the limit as x approaches two from the left, all right, of x squared plus two x plus three. I mean, I can literally write the function here or when I don't know what the function is and I can just write an f of x. Okay, now we, hopefully you got yesterday from the videos, all right, we are taking a look at what x approaches, it gets infinitely close to what value, and then that answer to the limit problem is always a y value. Okay, so if here's two, I'm approaching two from the left. That's what that little negative sign is there. All right, so I'm coming from this direction. Now, I really don't care. I'm coming from this way, so we know it's coming from the left, but I don't really care about here. I care about when it gets infinitely close to two. All right, so I'm coming from the left, so I look at the function. The function right here is approaching what y value? Ooh, you said it so softly with mask on, I don't have a clue. Positive infinity? Okay, so positive infinity. So I know the limit coming from the left is positive infinity. Okay, now I could also do the limit as x approaches two from the right, so that has a little plus sign after it, f of x. Okay, so again, two on my x-axis is right here. I'm coming from the right, but I don't care what's going on out here. I want to know what's happening to the function as I get infinitely close. So the function is going this direction. So what y value does that spit out? Positive infinity again. Now in this scenario then, the limit from the left and the limit from the right is equal. So that means the overall limit is the same. So if I just said the limit as x approaches two of f of x is equal to infinity. The limit from the left and the limit from the right must be equal, all right, for the overall limit to exist. Now, I did this, I did this for you. Like I said, okay, let's look at the limit from the left, look at, let's look at the limit from the right, and then we can conclude the overall limit. All right, I don't have to do that, okay? I could just ask you for an overall limit and then you would have to automatically check from the left and check from the right. So in other words, if I asked you for the limit as x approaches negative three of f of x, all right, I'm not asking from the left, I'm not asking from the right, but yet you have to at least mentally do that so that you can tell what the overall limits is going to be. All right, now here's negative three, right, on my x-axis. So if I know I want the overall limit, I've got to check it from the left, I've got to check it from the right. So when I check it from the left, I'm coming from this direction. But again, I don't care what's happening all the way out here. I want to know what's happening as it gets infinitely close to negative three. So I come up here and I look at the function the function is approaching what y value? One. All right, it makes no difference that that's an open dot or a closed dot because do, I don't care what's happening at negative three. I care at what's happening as it gets infinitely close to negative three. Now, if I come from the right, here's negative three. I'm coming from the right. Again, I don't care what's going on over here, over here, it doesn't matter. I want as it gets infinitely close to negative three, what y value is it? negative two. 
So the limit from the left was one, the limit from the right is negative two. So this overall limit does not exist. All right, and it's because, why? It's because, you don't have to write this, but we're just, I mean, like, it's not part of the answer. You can just write does not exist, but it's because the limit as X approaches negative three from the left, we said that one was one, and we said that the limit as X approaches three from the right was negative two, and those two values don't equal. All right, so that was overall the gist from yesterday. Okay. Are we good? You and it's going to take time because obviously, as we're doing this, I point to the right place on the graph. I even did that in the videos. I make you think a certain way. I ask the right questions to make you look for the right numbers. All right, you will have to get to where you do that on your own. But we will practice this multiple times. All right, so that pretty much was the overall thing from from yesterday. We'll do it again more. It's not just like a one time good deal. We will do this lots. Okay. Okay. Question. 